all right hey guys and welcome to my channel so if you are new here my name is t and if you are a returning subscriber welcome back to another video so as you guys can tell from the title of this video i'm going to be doing a updated lip combination video and i'm saying updated because i do already have one on my channel which i'll also link in case you want to check that one out but that one is from like a few years ago and you know like we've updated we've elevated we've e e e something gated you know we we we, pro we progressed we got better at our lip combinations and there's so many different ones that i've learned since that video so i obviously wanted to come here and share that with you guys so if you want to learn you know a few one two different lip combos just keep watching but before that don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you can be notified whenever i post a video and you can just be updated you know stay in the loop and also don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and yeah i feel like that's all i have to say i always talk so much in the intro so let's just get straight into today's right, video guys, for the video we're going to be using two lip liners i just wanted to show you guys at the beginning just to make it easier so this is the first one it's trendsetter from morphe it's like a darkish brown i don't even know kind of i would say like maybe not a reddish brown but like a true brown all right and then the one right beside it right here is chestnut from mac so this is more of like a cool brown and this is like a warm brown but these are the two liners i'll be going back and forth with just so again it makes it easier and so you guys have options the chestnut one is uh i would say a bit more expensive it's like 20 something dollars compared to the morphe one which is like 12 dollars. so you know i'm giving you guys options all right guys so for our first combo we're going to be using that trendsetter lip liner honestly guys this is the one i'm going to be using the most in this video if i'm being real i just really really love it but yeah i'm just lining my lips there's literally no specific way <laughs> i don't like to overline my lips so i literally just follow the pattern and just line them All right, so for the gloss, we're gonna be using this NYX Butter Gloss and it's in the shade Cinnamon Roll. So on the website, it's described as a cool tone brown. And I would agree, I feel like it's a very cool tone mauve brown. I think that's the right word I'm looking for, but I literally love it. It's such an everyday color and um, the actual NYX glosses are so nice and creamy. Like look how smooth and delicious it looks just going on my lips, like what? All right, so here's how it looks on its own. So this is definitely one way that you could wear the gloss just by itself to give you a nice like brown look. Sometimes I like to lighten up my lips. So to do this, I'm taking Flower Crown from Morphe, which is described as a peachy nude. And I'm literally just, you know, placing this in the center. And as you guys can see, it instantly changes it into a whole different lip combination. And it helps to give that like nice glossy ombre effect. And yeah, here is lip combo two, or I guess one and a half, because you know, it's a remix of the first one. All right, so for the next guys, let me apologize, because I feel like my nose sounds so congested. I have severe allergies right now, so you know, my nose is being shaky, but for the next lip combo, we're gonna be using the same lip liner, with translator for Morphe, and listen, open your ears right now if you're my skin tone this lipstick which is called boo from morphe it's the perfect caramel nude for our skin tone like if you're my skin or a bit uh, uh darker or lighter you could use it because it's just perfect like look how nice that matte lip looks like what but yeah here i'm just fixing and lining my lips just to make sure it looks perfect and here's how it looks on its own Again, another nice, I would say this is such a cute like fall and winter um, lip combo to do, especially since it's literally a perfect nude for my skin tone, like I absolutely love it. But again, you know, we got a remix style to, <laughs> to make this glossy, we can go on top of it with just this lip gloss from Morphe, which is called Chill, and it, oh sorry, Chili, and it's actually described as a tawny nude, which is kind of like a caramel nude. But as you guys can see, it complements the lipstick so well. And to be honest, actually, I got it in a whole pack. So the Trendsetter Lip Liner, the Boo um, Lipstick, and the Chili Lip Gloss, it actually came in a trio set, which I think is perfect because they literally put the lip combination there right for you. But what? 
lips look how nice you know it's making my teeth look making my lips look nice and nude and full and beautiful like this is definitely you know in my top two of my favorite lip combinations from this video So for the next lip combo, I actually mixed my trendsetter and my chestnut liner together. And here I am definitely singing to Summer Walker. <laughs> Before the lip gloss lipsticks are getting a bit bougie, we're going to be using our ABH lipstick. And this is in the shade Cool Brown. And the description is literally how the color is. It's Cool Brown. Again, a perfect um, matte lipstick for the fall and winter. very simple very nice i really really like the formula of this lipstick because it doesn't make your lips seem too dry and actually now that i think about it because it's described as a cool brown i think if you do this and put the cinnamon roll lip gloss from the beginning on top you would have a very nice like fall um winter glossy look but yeah this is the perfect true brown matte and to lighten this up you can definitely just add a little bit of concealer in the middle just to kind of give you that ombre effect Alright, so for the next combo for the lip liner, again, I mixed, I, first I put chestnut and then I'm just going over in certain places with the trendsetter. And for the lip, we're using this NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the color Cairo. And honestly, I don't even know how to describe this color. Like, you guys can look as I'm doing it. I don't know, what do you guys think? I would say it's kind of like a, a pale, dusty pink, like a grayish pink. Maybe like a cool tone pink but i don't know i know it's kind of looking funky right now but just keep watching as i blend it and you know pat it out and everything remember i told you guys i had top two favorite lip combos this is my second one that i absolutely love like love 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 So yeah, here's how it looks all blended out. And as you guys can see, it comes together perfectly. Like this combination is so effortlessly and so pretty. I just feel like it will complement everyone. But you guys know, I have to add a gloss on top of it. So I have the Madison Beer um, and X Morphe gloss and this is in the color Mercury, watch this. Pop. <laughs> I got proud of myself because it came out nice. But anyways, um, I'm going to show you guys how this color looks on my hand and beside the lips so you can see how well they're going to complement each other. It's literally like very, very similar. So this is just a topper gloss I'm going to use. And I would describe this gloss again maybe as like a, a very cool tone pink or a cool tone um, dusty pink. Honestly, I don't know. You guys look at it and see. But this combination, you don't even need the gloss. But the gloss just adds that extra oomph that you need. literally so pretty like I absolutely love this lip combination and the gloss and the matte lip is such a good formula they work together so well all right so for the last lip combo I have a nice clear lip combo for all the girlies who don't want anything with too much color in it so for the lip liner, I did use the chestnut um, liner because I wanted a more cool toned brown. And then I'm just going on it with this clear gloss from Maybelline, which guys, this lip gloss is so freaking good. Like, I don't know how much time I have to say it, but it has hyaluronic acid in it and it's also a lip plumping. So it look, makes your lips look so full and hydrated. Like, just look at that. And it also smells really good. And then just because I'm extra, on top of that, I added another um, kind of like uh iridescent i think that's the word um lip gloss on top and it's the ramel um lip gloss in sunday best stay glossy lip gloss and yeah it's just kind of to add like an extra bit of sheen to my lip it didn't really do anything too dramatic but again this you know you can't have a lip combination without a simple nice clear clean lip combo purr and here i am getting happy because i finished all right you guys want to hear me sing all right i'll get to Oh, I ain't taking, no, no, I ain't sticking around, no, no. All right, so if you are seeing my face again, then that means you've made it to the end of this video. So I just want to first thank you for watching this video all the way through. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I tried to include, you know, like a couple of different lip combos. I tried to include some that were a bit more pink, some that were nude, some that were matte. 
just so that you know each person can kind of find one lip combination that they like yeah while you're here make sure to check out some of my other videos i recently posted a fall winter must have videos just telling you guys about the different things i think you should get so if you're bored you know just check that video out while you're here and once again don't forget to subscribe to my channel give this video a thumbs up and comment down and let me know let me know if you enjoyed this video but yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. And thank you so much again for tuning in. Bye.